Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Excuse my hair. Natural hair, you know, going through. <laughs> so, um, I would like to say that I am sorry, but then again, I can't say that I'm sorry because life happened. And um, I had to go um, take care of some business last week. Um, stuff came up. So, I could not... Um, well, I could have took some time to make the video, but the time that I could have took, mentally, my mind wasn't there. So, we had a week off, but um, the week before that was week 18, and I did do the week ending of 18. Um, I put it up sometime last week, I think, Saturday, Friday, one of the days, I don't remember. So, we had all of last week off from our live makeover, so let's jump back in. And we're on week 19, break for spontaneity. Yeah, spontaneity. Break for that. Whew, that's a word that I'm like, oh my goodness. Spontaneous? That's what it means. Uh, I'm not that type of person. But let's hear what they got to say about it. The greatest gift that you can give yourself is a little bit of your own attention. And this quote is written by Anthony J. D'Angelo. Do you ever feel that life is just one long routine day after another? You wake up, take a shower, brush your teeth, get dressed, and head off to work. And blah, 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 blah. Well, if one more day of the same old stuff makes you feel cranky, it might be time for a spontaneity break. Now, I know that the idea of scheduling a spontaneity break sounds like a contradiction in terms. But when you consider how our society lives and thrives by the clock, it makes sense. Too often we fall into the trap of believing that life will become easier and more meaningful when we get really good at living and acting efficiently. But schedules, clocks, and well-planned time can squash our creativity spirit. That part of us that thrives on spontaneous, spontaneous open-ended time. I love open-ended time. In other words, I love to have an afternoon or a day to myself to do whatever I want without needing to be anywhere or do anything at any given time. As a matter of fact, I can, I can become pretty tough to live with when my calendar gets too full of scheduled appointments. When I have open-ended time, I often stop, close my eyes, and check in within myself to determine what feels right in the moment. Sometimes when I check in, I get a goofy answer like, clean out the refrigerator. Pretty weird, I know. At other times, I may want to take a nap, go for a job, visit a bookstore, or just sit and relax. As creative beings, we all need periods of time to live spontaneous, without commitments or distractions. By creating the space to live in, the moment we strengthen the connection to our inner wisdom and give ourselves a much needed rest from the routine of day-to-day -day living. So, if the idea of brushing your teeth or getting dressed feels like an overwhelming task, it might be time for a spontaneous break. Here's the take action. Schedule a spontaneous break this week. Take an afternoon or evening and give yourself the gift of time. 
free from appointments or obligations. Do whatever comes to mind in the moment. During this time, stop. Check in with your wise self and ask, what do I really want to do right now? However, goofy or simple, the answer may be, might be, trust your gut and act. In your life makeover journal, you're going to tie, you're going to title it Break for Spontaneity Week 19. That's a hard word to say sometimes. <laughs> Week 19, and you're going to write My spontaneous open-ended time during this week will be and you fill it in. So just think of like Today is Sunday, start of a week. Any day between Sunday to Saturday. Just think of a day. And you pick a day. And then just at that on that day, you'll fill in what day it is. Maybe it'll be Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, you'll write Wednesday. Because all it wants to do is a, um, pick a day. And you're right, like Wednesday. And on Wednesday, on that spontaneous time, just automatically think of something to do on Wednesday. And then write in your life makeover journal, what was your thought? And whatever your thought of being spontaneous to do, whether it's, it seems silly or fun or whatever it was, write it in your life makeover journal. Um, if you did it, or if you didn't do it. And then if you did it, how did it feel? If you didn't do it, why not? Why not? So um, right now, why not? So that's what your Take Action channel Challenge would be. And I'll leave it in the description below. You're going to write in your life makeover journal. My spontaneous open-ended time during this week will be. And you pick a date. Um, a date or a day. And write. And then I want you to add, please. What was your thought? What did you think of doing it? And if you did it, how did you feel after you did it? If you didn't do it, I still want to know your thought. You know, still write down your thought. And if you didn't do it, write down why you didn't do it. Maybe you felt it was silly. Maybe you felt, uh-uh, that was too much or whatever. Write it down. So, um, I hope you enjoy being spontaneous this week. <sighs> yep. So, I can't wait to see what I'm going to be spontaneous about this week. But I enjoy you all. I love you all. Um, and I thank you all. I put up a video um, with my leader, Bishop Wilson, as the Lord was speaking through him in church. It was saying, um, I've been in the rain too long. Or I've been in the storm too long. And, you know, Lord, make haste. You know, I've learned um, through life, not to ask the Lord to deliver you out of it. A situation called deliverance can be either or, you know. Um, but Lord, give me the strength to go through. That's my prayer for now on. Lord, give me the strength to go through. Lord, keep me putting, keep train, keep training me, keep the 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 warning in me to put all my trust in you. I can say it. Put all your trust in the Lord. But to be honest, sometimes we just don't. I, I'm going to speak for myself. I, I, I don't. I want to question. You know, I, I, but that's flesh. That's not my inner part. That's not my divine part. That's my human part. So, Lord, I'm learning to put all my trust in you. It's a learning thing. We'll forever learn as long as we live on this earth. It's a learning thing. And um, and what got me on the day, um, that we went and he, the Lord was talking through Bishop Wilson, he came, it came, the Lord knew just what I needed because I just want to throw up my hand and just walk away, but I'm still alone. I want to trust you, Lord. I believe that you're going to do it. I know you're going to make a way. And I went to that meeting that night and my heart wasn't right, but Jesus got a hold of it because in that. It told it in the conversation, in the preaching of the word, it told everything I was going through and it gave me a way out. I climbed out on Jesus. That was my way out. He knew just what I was going through. And then 
In that, he said, in the preaching, the Lord said, I don't know when and I don't know how, but he going to bring me out. He going to make a way. And I said, that's not saying I said to you too. I know the Lord was talking to me. I don't know when. I don't know how. And I definitely don't know where. But I know that God's going to make a way. Love you.